Good morning. Self inductance. As we have already discussed, self inductance or simply inductance is the property of a coil to oppose the change in current flowing through it. Let's go through different expressions for self inductance. We know that magnitude of self induced EM of E is equal to N into d phi by dt. E is equal to N into d phi by dt. Since this flux is due to change in change in flux is due to change in current in the coil, we know that the flux linkages will be proportional to current. That is, we can represent the flux linkage or d by dt of n phi flux linkages, change in flux linkages, e phi dt of n phi can be represented as that is d by dt of n phi flux linkages is proportional to the change in current through the coil because the change in current is responsible for the change in flux and flux linkages. That is we can write induced EM of E is equal to d by dt of n phi which is proportional to dA by dt. From this expression we can write E is proportional to dI by dt that is induced EM of e in a coil is proportional to the rate of change of current that is we can write E is equal to L into di by dt where L is a constant which is known as the self inductance of the coil. L is the constant which is known as the self inductance of the coil. This is a primary expression for induced EM of considering self inductance. And from this expression we can simply write the expression for self inductance. That is the first expression for self inductance L is equal to induced EM of E by Ti by dt and the unit of self inductance is Henry. This is the first expression for self inductance that is L is equal to induced EM of divided by rate of change of current Di by dt. Let us go through another expression for self inductance that is a second expression. We know that First expression we know that E is equal to N into d phi by dt. This is the first expression. And the second expression we also know that E is equal to L into di by dt, a constant self-inductance into rate of change of current from 1 and 2. We can equate these two expressions. We get L into I is equal to N into phi. We can represent this as L into I is equal to N into phi. In the changing the derivative options we get by equating 1 and 2 we get li is equal to n phi and from that we can write self inductance l is equal to n into phi by i henry this is our another expression for self inductance and next third expression by considering the physical parameters of the coil we can derive another expression for self inductance that is from the first equation we know that l is equal to from this expression, we know that L is equal to L is equal to N into we can represent it as the change in flux with respect to change in I, change in current that is N into d phi by dI. We also know that flux phi is equal to mm of by reluctance s. We know that flux phi is equal to mm of by reluctance s. By substituting the values we get phi is equal to mm of is equal to n into i where ampere terms that is reluctance mm of by reluctance n into reluctance is equal to L by A into we can write self inductance L from this expression we can write self inductance L is equal to n into rate of change of flux with respect to rate of change of current. We know that phi is equal to mm of by s and substituting the value of mm of and reluctance mm of is equal to n into i and reluctance is equal to L by a into 1 by mu zero mu r. Therefore we can write differentiating with respect to di n into a into mu zero mu r divided by L. This is expression for d phi by di and substituting this in this expression we get Self inductance L is equal to N into N into A into mu 0 into mu R the whole divided by L. And that is equal to N square into A into mu 0 into mu R divided by L. And that is we can also represent it as N square by this is this part is nothing but the reluctance that is N square by S. 
Therefore, the self inductance can be represented as self inductance L is equal to n square divided by reluctance. This is another expression for and its unit is n is another expression for self inductance L. So, these are the three expressions for self inductance. This is the first expression L is equal to E by d phi by dt and this is the second expression and this is the third expression. The third expression is important by considering the physical parameters of the coil. L is equal to square of the number of turns divided by reluctance offered by the coil. Thank you.